Just, officer, yeah. officer, Recording, this lady on. is refusing to give me her collar number. No, I don't like it because you were breaching COVID regulations. Okay, well, we're going to go in the car. We're going to go to our And you're still car. refusing to identify. So, I don't need to identify myself. Yes, you do. Oh, on, on request of the public, it's in the police policy. Yes, it is, love. I stopped you. You have Yes, I, I want to report you. I want to report you for breaching COVID regulations and you will not give me a collar number to do so. Hey what's going on everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sam Joaquin Jr. On this channel we discuss police accountability and knowledge of your constitutional rights. Today I'm sharing a video by a channel that goes by the name Live Free. In this video the cameraman is recording the Nottingham Police Department. While recording he comes across two officers who are breaking COVID-19 protocols in their city. Now here in America that's not really a crime, that's punishable. Where they are, it happens to be a crime. So the officers are breaking the law and he tries to hold them accountable. And this is what happened next. Alright guys, so... We're in Nottingham now. We've been in Leicester today. Um, I did HMP Leicester, quick audit there guys, just to add it to my uh, list. We didn't get an interaction, it was nice and smooth. And then I went on to uh, Leicester Police. Just give a little education. Officers, uh, you're not social distancing. Can you social distance please? It's two metres. And you haven't got face masks on as well. So can you keep your distance from the lady please? We're trying to keep everybody safe mate and two metres apart. It's actually a law now that you're breaking it. Could you please step two metres from the lady? I'm not going to just do anything you want to telling me to do. I am telling you to do it because it's the law. Yes it is, you're breaching Covid regulations and you're on camera doing it and I will be sending it to professional standards if you don't step away from that lady. I will send it to prof professional standards, I promise you. Because, you, listen, people are out there getting arrested for breaching COVID regulations and you're stood there breaching them. Can I take your collar number, please? Sorry? And do you have a name? Can I take the lady's collar number, please? Because you're all getting reported under the COVID-19. Okay. Okay. Are you the landowner? I'm not, but I know, I know who are. Okay. Okay, well, um, I believe I believe in law only the landowner can trespass me. Okay. Yeah. Um, lady, can I take your collar number, please? Can I just say that we don't actually have to wear a face mask outside? But you were standing two metres to this officer. Oh, we're actually paired up today to work on shift. Okay, okay. So I'm not getting into any more conversation with you. You don't have to. Okay, so I don't want you to call anywhere. I, you, I need your collar number. So. I need your collar number. Because so, you, what, 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 you, are you failing to identify? You're refusing to identify. You're reporting crime. I'm not reporting a crime, but you have to identify yourself. I'll be sending that to professional standards and you will be in bother. I promise you that, lady. You're supposed to identify yourself to the public. That's your policy. You're breaching your policy and professional standards will not like it. Officer, why is she refusing to identify? How can I identify this lady when I'm making a complaint? Yeah, wait. Do you know what it is, love? Yeah. Can I just get you? Yeah, I need to get I need to get your collar number. Can I have your collar? I can't complain about you then. You'll lose your job for this. Listen, you can report me to professional standards. Absolutely. And you're refusing to give me the collar number. To me and, they can do. and you're refusing to give the collar number. I don't need to give you my collar. You do on request of the public. It's your policy, love. Yeah, you do. Are you, are you reporting Live free, live free, guys. Yeah. Uh, this lady's refusing to identify. She's impersonating a police officer. The police policy is to identify the self on request, and she's refusing to identify. You're impersonating. Uh, when I get, can I get your collar number? Will you allow me to get your collar number? I'm not having a conversation with you anymore about it. You're not a police, you're a bad police officer. Okay, Alright, it's police disgusting officer. this. Disgust. Officer, yeah. officer, recording, this lady me. is refusing to give me her collar number. No, I don't like it because you were breaching Covid regulations. Okay, well we're going to go in the car, we're going to go to our... And you're still car. refusing to identify. So, I don't need to identify myself. Yes you do, on, on request, request of the public, it's in the police okay. policy. Yes it is love. Yes, I, I want to report you. To, I want to report you for breaching COVID regulations, and you will not give me a collar number to do so. Well, I can't without your collar number. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Probably lose your job for that. And I do this for a living, guys. So I do know. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. Terrible. Police abusing powers, guys. Failing to identify, impersonating a police officer, breaching COVID regulations, guys. This is our police force.
This is our police force, guys. Uh, this lady is refusing to identify. Yeah. All, all, all police officers must, okay. must so produce. Mean, so you're saying she's not a police officer? Because all police officers must. So she's not a police I've got officer. a feeling she's not. Well, I'm saying she is. But what's her caller number then? Okay. I'm not giving you her details. Terrible. Okay, the fact is you can't... You give me yours. Officer. Why did you give me your caller number, no, sir? I've got no issue with giving you my details because it's... Because, because you know it's that it's the policy and you have to do that. No. You don't have to do that. Someone, I have to give them the details, yeah. Guys, this is terrible. Brandon, Watch it. it Excuse me, officer. Could I take your caller number, please? Mine? Yeah. What for? Because you have to, on request to the public, you'll find out later, I promise, guys. Okay, this is you, terrible. You report that in, that's fine. This is terrible. Okay. Absolutely terrible. Listen, because they were breaching Covid regulations, no, officer. Stood down there having a private conversation. While <laughs> breaching, it was breaching Covid regulations, guys. You were, st you were stood on top of each other, guys. You were stood on top of each other, guys. Come on, please be truthful. You can sit next to him. Okay, okay. We're in the same support bubble, you two. Pardon, we are, yes, sir. Okay, so, as in, we work within our own... Okay, but why are you all refusing to identify? I don't understand. And professional standards will be on your case for that, I promise you. You have to identify. You were identified. So, you acted with the policy, in the policy. Why is this officer not and this officer not? They don't have to. Okay, you're going to find that's wrong, officer. You must do that. And, you know, guys, leave a comment, guys. Look what they're doing. They're refusing to identify. Clearly, this lady here, I've asked her 15 times. Under no circumstances is she giving me the details. This officer is refusing to identify as well. This officer gives his details. Um, it's terrible, guys. I'm very disappointed. I'm reporting on misconduct hearings at Nottinghamshire Police. Okay, that's what I'm doing today. And as I was reporting, coming up, taking my visual, I noticed officers breaking the law. Um, and I've approached the officers and asked for details so I can get on top of that and I've been refused. So obviously I'm a little, I'm a little peed off, but um, I'll do it, the, go down the correct channels, you know, rather than spouting off, I'll go down the correct channels and we'll deal with it appropriately. But if you can just have a word with the lady and let her know that if a member of the public asks you for your caller number, you must do that, it's in the policy. She's going to find out the hard way, guys. And yeah, you're dismissed, thank you. Thanks for your time. You just dismissed me. Yeah, you yes, you are dismissed. You're dismissed, guys. No, We're no, finished. No, no, you don't dismiss us. Oh, why not? Dismissed. Why not? Because I don't answer to you as in... I don't, don't you have respect for me, officer? I do, but you don't need to say you're dismissed. That's disrespectful to me. It's not disrespectful. No, disrespectful um, you provide a service to me, and if I don't need yeah, that yeah. service anymore, no. you are dismissed. No. You're not, you're not no, dismissed. No. You're dismissed. I do. I do it many times, officer. You're dismissed. Right, whatever. OK. Whatever makes you happy, chat. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Have a nice day. God bless you guys. Yeah. Improper use of procedure, guys. Professional standards, improper use of procedure and failing to identify. Thank you. God bless you guys. So guys, we're at Nottingham. We are um, reporting on police misconduct at Nottinghamshire Police. And as we're walking up the road, we notice officers bre breaching COVID regulations. Um, we ask the officers what they're doing breaching these regulations. We've asked the officers to identify themselves. Um, they've not done so. You must produce your caller number to a member of the public. The no, the lady didn't. She's on, she's on record refusing to do it 10, 15 times. What, what is it that you're saying they've breached? Uh, well, whether they have or they haven't. Okay, but whether, they've, whether they have or they haven't. With all due respect, sir, what, can you just explain to me how you, you're saying they've breached, sir? Well, let's put that aside because whether they're guilty of that or not, whether they're in a bubble. Supply call numbers, that's not a problem. You can have okay, no, but you're supposed to do it on request, right? And that's improper use of procedure. And um, yeah, an officer on request, when a p member of the public asks for the caller number, it's quite serious as well. You, you think it's nothing. No, no, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong there, love. If I ask you to identify yourself, yeah? immediately you must identify yourself it's in your policy um, you don't know your policy obviously but professional standards will drill that into you yes demanding yeah because you must get, you must provide me it because i wanted to report you because i i didn't want to no 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 you just got challenged you, you got challenged because i thought you were breaking the law yes um, I'm not sure. I'll let I'll, I will let the professional standards decide whether you know that was in uh, procedure or not. Your full -time job to identify whether we're no, the law or no, no, you're wrong there. We don't have to make, you're we wrong. Have to wear a mask outside. Okay, fine. I really with Craig. I've been paired up with him all week attending jobs. Right, right, the lady's cop's explaining now why, why she don't wear a mask, but that's uh, besides the point, guys. Pardon. Okay. But it's besides. Yeah, it's besides the point, guys. The issue is. 
that's not the issue. The COVID stuff is not the issue now. The issue now is that you failed to identify. You, fifth... have you should have done it immediately. I'm sorry. Okay. If you apologise, if you say sorry to me now, if you say sorry, well, then it's going to go further because, listen, you can't break procedure. You enforce the law. I didn't shout at you. It's all on record. You're lying. Now she's lying, Sergeant. It's all on record. I'll give you all my officers' call numbers. This, this conversation, Thank you. I'll draw it to a close now because we're, okay. we're not going to achieve anything else. Okay. If you have my call number, you have my officers' call number. I've already got it. It's fine. Okay. It's only the ladies I need. This guy acted perfectly fine. He produced his call number and his name. Can I ask what the relationship between yourselves are? He's my uh, brother. Right. And, yeah. All right. And he, Pardon? No. No, you're all right, love. Thank you very much. You're all right. You're all right. Thank you. I know my law. I know my laws. I know my rights. I know my civil liberties. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go, guys. Look what's happening now, guys. Do you know what? Right. This. I can see this leading into a civil claim now. Okay. I really can. So you're going to provide your details. I promise you. Am I obliged to give you my details, officer? No. It, no ifs or buts, right? No ifs or buts. If we suspect that you don't live at no, the address, no, no, no. Sergeant, am I obliged to give my details? Will you please well, educate this officer? We just need to clarify if your cells yeah. are in breach of the okay. Okay. regulations or not. Okay. Is that the case? Or can you just tell us your details of where you live? No, we can't do that. And can I ask why? We can't do that because we're not breaching any laws, we're not breaching any regulations. Um, we're out here working, guys. And, and now, I feel, now I feel like... Yeah, exactly. Now I feel like you're asking for my details to do me harm because I've challenged you. It feels that way. But okay, that's got nothing to do with it. Oh, that's got nothing to do with it, love. We do live at the same address. I've just told you that. What, so you're going to tell me now that every two people together, you're going to go and ask them to prove that they live at... This is ridiculous, guys. Come on. You're the one in the wrong here, and I've asked for an apology, and now you're trying to spin it on me like I'm doing something wrong. This is terrible. Guys, this is our police force across the nation. Look what, look what we put up with. Look what we're dealing with. We pay these guys, right? We need to let them know we pay these guys and we are not going to accept this behaviour. We are going to stand up. We are going to come out and we are going to hold you guys accountable because we're getting fed up, guys. We are. Public and we are accountable. We've given you our call Thank you. I'll give you my call number. Thank you. I don't know what else I can say. That, no, you. that's it. Uh, you're dismissed. Thank you. And have a nice day. Thank you, guys. I'm really unhappy. You know, I wouldn't have been like this. I'm really unhappy, love. You should have given me a, your badge number, and I'm very disappointed. And breaching COVID regulations, you're breaching so the police policy, though. You, you might not be you breaching the COVID regulations, but you're definitely breaching. So, Sergeant, will you tell her that? Do you, Craig, want to do? Yeah, we've got a job to go to. God bless, guys. You're dismissed, Sergeant. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. What did you think of this video? I think the way this cameraman handled these officers was outstanding. He held them accountable and they let their feelings get involved. I think Live Free does some great work. You guys go check out his videos and let him know Sam Joaquin Jr. sent you. This video goes to show you that all around the world it is important to know your rights and always record.